Hello and welcome back to the Jail Games Combat Arena Championship Season 2, where we have 8 more robots hoping to be the champion. Last week our previous champion Ripper crashed out of the competition and Rybot went through. Let's see who's going to join them today. First up we have Iron Ore 7 against Smidzy, and the house robot this time is Weapon of Choice. Okay, here we go. Smithy and Iron Ore. Iron Ore getting a good flip in to start off with. Smithy going very high, and I think we're going to get an out of the arena here. Either that or into the pit. Iron Ore now seems to be stuck against the wall. Smithy taking advantage of this. Pushing him towards the spikes. It's quite interesting. Quite cagey. Uh, they both seem to be uh, stuck on the spikes. It's not ideal. Oh, here we go. They have uh, backed off. And Smidzy getting flipped again by Iron Ore 7. What can Smidzy do? Iron Ore's just stopped. Smidzy pushing in towards the pit. Oh, what an upset. What an absolute upset. I can't believe it. What a drive on Smidzy. A weapon of choice. He was just sitting in the uh, CPZ expecting him to go over there. But that was just suicide by Iron Ore. That was my favourite for the heat. And he's out. Well, I can't believe it. Iron Ore 7 was my favourite for this entire heat. And it's gone. Smidzy pushing him straight into the pit and going through. Next up, we've got a couple of classic robots here. Steel Avenger against Chompalot. And the house robot this time is Matilda. Okay, here we go. Chompalot going after Steel Avenger, but that axe on Steel Avenger is very potent. But now it does seem that they're doing uh, rings around each other not very interesting to look at. Tilda having a glance. Another good slam with the axe. Oh look at Chompalot's jaws just crushing down but missing. Not quite connecting. Now they are. They're scraping and the whole cover of Steel Avenger has just come right off. That is crazy. Look at that. Well, let's see if we can have a bit of fun with that. Matilda wants some fun with that. There we go. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chompalot looks like it's digging right into the frame. And a wheel has popped off. Wow. Chompalot is far more aggressive and effective than I thought it would be. And smoke is coming out of Steel Avenger. This is brilliant. I mean, I know they're going round and round in a circle, but even so damage that's being caused here. I mean, it is it is a bit samey, isn't it, this battle? But Tilda's not happy. Now, it looks like... Oh, look at the damage there! Chompalot's wing! She's being chased after by Chompalot. Come on, go and fight go and fight Steel Avenger again. Steel Avenger looks pretty much dead in a way only spinning round. Now Chompalot taking it close to the pit. Don't know if you'll be able to get it in there. We'll have to see. Tilda doesn't really want to interfere. We're coming into the last minute of the fight and... Oh! There's some damage. I saw sparks coming from um, Steel Avenger. Yes! He's dead! Steel Avenger has been counted out. It's gone. Well, Chompalot with the win. Matilda would like to flip Steel Avenger, but he's not not letting him have a go. Well, there we go. We'll, uh, we'll have a flip of Chompalot, shall we? See if we can get him out of the arena with Chompalot. Nope. Never mind. Into the pit. Into the pit. Come on. There we go. Well, how about that? Chompalot 
Get in the win! Well, once again, another surprising result. Chompalot literally eating Steel Avenger and getting the win. Next up, we have Tough as Nails against 13 Black. And the house robot this time is Igor. Okay, here we go. And Tough as Nails pushing. That is unbelievably quick. Tough as now is going for the push and putting him straight in the pit. 13 black. That is such a shame. That looked like a very tough machine. Well, that battle was over pretty much as soon as it began. Tough as nails gripping 13 black and shoving it straight into the pit. Tough as nails going through. Next up, we have Mute against Plunderbird 5. And the house robot this time is the Red Baron. Enter the combat zone. Three, two, one. Okay, here we go. Red Baron looks on as Mute gets straight under Plunderbird. And look at this display. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Red Baron stunned. Goodness me. Well. And straight into the pit, of course. And of course, Mute follows, because why not? Everyone drives into the pit these days. Well, <laughs> unbelievable display. Well, a fantastic display by Mute. Mute, of course, getting into the final of the last series, so I did expect it to do well. Mute going through. Right now, we're going to take a break from the main competition and go into our featherweight tag team terror competition where we have Spanky and Trigo against Minor Tom and Mr. Mangle. Okay, here we go. Trigo spinning up to speed and hitting a Minor Tom. Oh my goodness, Minor Tom has lost half of itself already that is that is bad spanky doing very well as well of course i do like spanky unusual design but what has happened to trigo it's now just bouncing along ah good it's, he's now self-righteous so he's still got all four machines minor tom is not looking healthy though i i i think that mr mangle is going to have to do a lot of work here it's doing good against Spanky, but Spanky is now launching it away. Oh no, <laughs> Minor Tom, what has happened to you? The entire lifter is gone. And now Mr. Mangle is stuck on the spikes. Spanky is still trying to get to it, but has now, has now gone away and has gone to help his teammate on poor old Minor Tom. Who would have thought that Minor Tom, though, would be the last one to be immobilized on that team? <laughs> now Trigo is, is hitting Spanky. You want to be careful here. Your teammate is not to be hit. There's now, they've all gone on the spikes. But Minor Tom is out. 100%. It's been dead for quite a while. Well, congratulations to Trigo and Spanky. Despite Spanky getting stuck. They go through. Okay, we're going to get back to the main competition now, where we have Smidzy against Tough as Nails. And the house robot this time, it's Shunt. Enter the combat zone. Three, two, one. Let the wars begin. Okay, here we go. Uh, Smidzy and Tough as Nails. Tough as Nails getting a good grip on Smidzy now. Look at that. Pushing him into the wall. Good display. And now going after the house robot. You shouldn't be doing that. What are you doing? Ah, oh, Smidzy! Smidzy just committed suicide. I can't believe it. He's under no pressure at all. He just drove straight into the pit. Well, tough as nails is going to be going through then, but what a ridiculous thing to do. Oh, well, we all go in the pit. <laughs> well, Tough as Nails gets the win. 
Well, that was a very poor display of driving there. Smithy just drove straight into the pit under no pressure at all. Tough as nails going through. Next up, we have Mute against Chompalot. And the house robot this time is the Red Baron. Okay, here we go. I think Mute is probably going to win this one. But, again, these two robots are extremely close to the ground. And Chompalot is going for the Red Baron. The Red Baron is now out of the arena. <laughs> Caused by Mute, of course. Who is now abusing poor Chompalot in the uh, in the corner. Who seems to be stuck on the rails. It's been locked on the rail. That is incredible. That's the first time we've seen that kind of victory. Immobilised on the wall. Well, well done to Mute. Well, that was a very good display by Mute, literally locking Chompalot to the wall. That's quite intriguing how it won. Before we get to the final, we're going to have an exhibition match. We're going to have four spinners together in the arena at the same time. We're going to have Last Rites, Megabyte, 900, and Electric Boogaloo. This is going to be fun, four spinners, and already I can see carnage is going to occur. The last right, if that can get up to speed. Goodness me, a wheel has already flown off of someone. I think that might have been Megabyte. Goodness me, look at the damage it's going to be caused here. Last right's hitting 900 up into the air. Electric Boogaloo goes spinning madly, and as does last right. 900 is probably the most stable of all of these. Consistent attacks on Megabyte. I think Electric Boogaloo, yeah, I was just about to say it, has lost a wheel. I said it was going to lose a wheel. It has now. So that is basically a loss because now the other wheel has gone as well. You don't need to attack him any more last rights. Definitely not. Megabyte looks incapacitated but now I think it's back up spinning again I heard another break I think that might have been another wheel off someone oh no I think last rights has now become very unbalanced yes the spinner is going extremely badly and now look what happened to 900 900 has lost its drum and now I think physics has definitely gone wrong I think it's spinning when it really shouldn't be <laughs> all the invisible weights that shouldn't be there but 900 now just getting tossed around by Megabyte and by Last Rites which Last Rites has definitely lost some counterbalances or something it's going absolutely mad 900 is now spinning top um, <laughs> that definitely shouldn't be happening but this is what happens when you have four spinners in the ring at the same time Chaos ensues. Now Megabyte pushing Last Rites to the wall. Oh, what a fantastic fight. This is so frantic. I've never seen anything quite like it. Poor Electric Boogaloo is long gone. I think if, um, if it goes to a judge's decision, which it might very well, You've got to give it to Last Rites, simply for the damage and control it shows. 900 has just spun into the pit. Well, that decides it for them. They are well out of it. So it comes down to Megabyte. Oh, what a horrible noise. Uh, Megabyte and Last Rites. And I think, yeah, we're coming into the last 10 seconds now. Megabyte has... It's done very well, but I think I'm going to give it to Last Rites if the uh, if the computer doesn't. And the match winner was Team 900. I I really don't think so. Uh, <laughs> the computer damage points are extremely uh, out of uh, out of whack. Let me know in the comments what you, which one you think won, but I say Last Rites 
show best control and best aggression and the most damage really if looking at electric boogaloo okay here we are who is going to go into the final is it going to be mute or is it going to be tough as nails the house robot this time is igor Okay, here we go. Now Mute, look at that, has gone straight in between Tough as Nails. It looks like um, Tough as Nails has got him in his grip, in his grasp. And But Mute is shoving him towards the pit. Now this is extremely close. Anything could happen here. Mute lets him go. But he's on the edge already. What has happened there? That's an unbelievable display of aerobatics. Acrobatics, rather. Igor getting into the mix. Tough as nails. Looks like he might have drive problems. But it might not matter. Mute is getting in there. Once again, he just couldn't capitalise on the attack. But Mute is getting shoved towards the pit. This could be anyone going in at this stage. Is it going to be tough as nails? Is it going to be mute? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. It looks like he gets away again. He's gone after the house robot again. Both these robots have been extremely lucky to survive so far. Now they're going into the CPZ. Now Mute, pushing towards the pit once again. It's amazing how he can't capitalise on the attacks. He's just on that flipper edge, why aren't you flipping? But here we go! Is this going to be it? We've got a minute left. He's dug deep! The wheels are over the pit! Surely that's it! Yes! Tough as nails goes in first. Mute is the winner of this heat once again. So far the only robot to go through to the final twice. Well there we go. Mute once again goes through to the grand final. Tune in next time where we have eight more robots hoping to be the champion. Until then, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.